Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. So I am back again with another top five favorite nude lip combos. I have some really good ones, you guys. Pretty much all of them are affordable in exception to one lip combo, which you guys will see. And everything will be listed in the description box down below. So I hope you guys are ready. Grab your phone, take out your notes, or grab a little notepad, whatever you have to do, because these lip combos are on fire, you guys. So with that said, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up. And with that said, let's go ahead and jump into today's favorites top five favorite nude lip combos don't mind the grays <laughs> you can see them a lot i haven't dyed my hair in probably like three weeks and i've just been so lazy but anyways so let's jump right into the first lip liner or lip combo tutorial so the first one is the one that i've been using a ton these past few days i need a mirror i think i'm gonna grab this one um, this one I've been using pretty much every single day because it literally goes with almost any uh, like look that you wear so it's very friendly to accommodating I guess so first we're going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip liner in the shade cool brown and we are just going to line the lips I take my time doing this, so make sure that you take your time, line your lip liner, super important. And then just a little tip for you guys, if you struggle with getting that like ombre look, make sure that when you're up here, you put your lip liner almost like laying down and let it do the work for you. And then we're gonna go in with two Morphe lipsticks. So the first one I am taking is Commit, which is a really beautiful, true beige brown. Let me tell you that these lipsticks suck, okay? The formula is definitely not the best, but it is so pretty. Like, <clears throat> the colors in itself, they're pretty. The formula is just horrible. I hope they reformulate it and make it a little bit more creamy, but the one thing that I kind of like about the formula is that because they are so drying, they make the lips super matte. So, I don't know, I guess you gotta pick your battles. <laughs> so let's go in with the Commit lipstick. This one actually isn't as bad, but the shade First Base is really dry. Maybe it could be just my lipstick, but this is a really pretty like flush tone color. As you can see, it's very pale, and I take that in the center. And then I'm going to take that and kind of run it all over. And then the key ingredient to a good lip combo is to always go back with your lip liner and redefine the lips because as you can see, we lost a lot of definition. So I'm going to go back with my lip liner and just retrace the steps pretty much. And here you have lip combo number one. Again, this has been my go-to lately. I just love how it looks. Like even with this uh, look that I have on right now, it's just so pretty. My hair looks so crazy. Um, it just looks so pretty because it's such a neutral lip that, again, with any look that you have, it's just going to look so beautiful. Moving on to lip combo numero dos, number two. We are once again using our Anastasia Cool Brown Lip Liner. This is sold out in a lot of places and I get the hype. It's such a pretty color. Honestly, it's very similar to like every other single brown lip liner that I have, but I just really like the formula. So we're going to go in with a BH again and my pencil is nice and sharp so I don't have to worry about sharpening it. And again, just going in and making sure I take my time to line my lips. I'm going to go in with one of the new Maybelline Vinyl Ink Superstay lipsticks. These are so pretty and they're definitely a dupe for the Urban Decay ones. This is in the shade Captivated. Such a gorgeous nude. And that is what the color looks like. And again, I'm just going to take that look at that. Ooh. Ooh. 
and there you have it a nude lip combo numero dos this one is slightly more pink a little bit but it's definitely still nude and it's so pretty these are very comfortable once they fully dry down they do take a while right now it's still tacky so do not press your lips just let it dry down and these will last you hours on your lips so love this one i also really love the shade punchy from the vinyl collection they're really really pretty so Lip combo number two. Lip combo number three is also going to be affordable. So we're gonna go in with the NYX lingerie push-up lipsticks. These are not lip liners, but I love how creamy they are, and I love the undertones. So of course you can you know make a personal rules. You can use it for whatever. The best thing is that these come with a little sharpener at the end. So I just pop it off, and then I sharpen this. We're gonna go in with this shade in teddy this is a darker brown so just be careful when you apply it i kind of removed the makeup around my lips so now it looks like i have a mustache <laughs> And then we're going to go in with probably my favorite lipstick from NYX. This is the Suede Matte Lipstick in the shade Dainty Days. It is such a beautiful nude. The formula, chef's kiss. I'm telling you guys, NYX and their lipsticks, they know what they're, what they're doing. So we're going to go in and apply that to the center. Look at that. Then of course I'm gonna go back with my uh, brush and blend out the edges. And make sure you're tapping and not swiping. Swipe or no swiping. <laughs> And there you have it, of course. This is like a classic dark lip liner, nude, very light nude lipstick on the center. This one, I sometimes like to wear it with a gloss, and let me show you which one. I'm sure you guys have noticed by now that I don't really show you guys lip gloss combos because I just, I'm more of a matte lipstick person. I don't know, that's just my personal choice. But because this lip is so light in the center, you can totally get away with literally any lip gloss but to add a hint of pink i'm going to take eclair from the nyx butter glosses again some of the best glosses ever i don't place it anywhere else because i don't want to mess up the ombre and there you have it this is lip combo numero tres and number three love me good affordable Oh, lip combo like this like this is actually this whole vibe is a vibe this whole look is a vibe is what i meant to say but what do you guys think this is definitely one of my favorites fourth lip combo is for my girlies out there that like to splurge a little bit more on a lip liner lipstick lip gloss etc so we're gonna go in with jacqueline cosmetics lip liner in the shade bold brew and i do need to sharpen mine this is a very, very deep brown. And then I'm gonna go in with MAC lipstick in the shade Honey Love, which looks like this. I'm actually gonna clean off the tip a little bit. And then we're gonna go into the center of the lips. And if you're familiar with MAC formula, literally the best. And here it is. This one, I mainly wear it when I'm wearing like very little, like, makeup um but again with this look i just feel like this look just goes with everything and i know this lip combo is probably not for everybody because the lip liner is so bold but i like how it looks and i'm going to show you how i wear this one with a lip gloss one sec i will occasionally go in with this honey glow by makeup by mario since it's a brown gloss well it's a serum
And look at how juicy the lips look. It tingles and it feels hydrating. The lips are glowing. It just, mm, I love this lip combo. What do you guys think? I hope I don't have any food on my teeth. I have to take a little lunch break. So let's finish off with the very last lipstick. This is going to be a cool toned look. So again, very appropriate for a lot of um, looks. And we are going in with another of the NYX lingerie push-up lipstick. This one is called After Hours. The other one is called Teddy. So let's go ahead and line the lips with this one. And then this is the only nude cool tone lipstick that I own that I've seen. Like if you guys know of any cool tone nude lipsticks that are not pink, let me know because I struggle with finding them. This is the L'Oreal Full Blown Fawn Matte Lipstick. And I'm going to show you guys a swatch. So as you can see, it definitely has a cool undertone. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that on the center. Then again, going in with my brush. And then going back with a little bit more of that lipstick and just kind of like redefining the lips a little and tapping it in. That's what literally takes me the most time. So as you can see, this one is a little bit more cool tone. You can add a lip gloss, but I personally love the way this cool toned matte lipstick looks. It's just such a vibe. Let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see a look on this because again, this eye look goes perfect with all the lip combos that I just showed you. It goes well with like a red lip, perfect for Valentine's. So that is the nude lip combo number five that I have for you guys. I have a lot more. Like I've said before, I literally have a list of my lip combos like on my phone. And I label them nude lip combos to try or that I have and I just keep track of some that I see on TikTok and then some that I come across when I'm doing my makeup and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is such a good lip combo and I write it down so I don't forget so I can share it with you guys. So let me know which one was your favorite lip combo. Honestly, I can't pick. I can't. Like all of them are my favorite. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there and until next time, I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!